Have I got some on my teeth? Yes, Tula, you have. and welcome to today's video. I haven't done a makeup video in so so long so I thought I would do one and today I'm doing two completely different looks using one of my favourite makeup brands which is Contour Cosmetics. So I have done this look as you can see which is like super kind of gothic-y with the like dark extreme lip and then I've done a more kind of everyday look that I would do which is basically very nude and like bronzy. Um, I just really wanted to do a makeup look with Contour Cosmetics because they were the first cream contour kit that I ever bought. They were like the first brand that I invested in when I started to get like super interested in makeup and actually doing it properly. Bought my little contour kit, I mean, I actually remember the first time I ever did my contour, I, I literally like looked like I had a beard. Like I don't know how I managed it, but it was awful. Okay, so this is my first look using Contour Cosmetics. This is my more kind of like everyday, kind of playing it safe look when I'm just not feeling too crazy. It's very classic me, like usually I will 99% of the time have a nude lip on and then I usually will have either like a warm colour on my eyes or something like this which is a kind of like purpley mix of a bit of rose gold. Okay, so let's get started. So I have of course started with a primer and this is the base by Contour Cosmetics. And this is called a Stay All Day Mattifying Primer, um, which pretty much does as it says on the tin. It is a mattifying one and yeah, it does stay all day. Like it made my makeup stay really well. I was really, really pleased with it and it went on nicely. And then moving on to foundation, I'm using the True Match L'Oreal foundation, which honestly, guys, I cannot stop using at the moment. Like, this is my new favorite foundation. I honestly love it for everything, like all round, staying all day, coverage, everything. It's amazing. Um, I've used the contour kit. I go into more detail in the other looks. So I've skipped that for now. And I'm moving on to the Aphrodite eyeshadow palette using the color Aries for the first um, color that I use. And I'm using that kind of as a base all over my lid. And I'm actually using the brush that came with um, the kit, which is quite nice actually. Then moving on to color Calon, I'm using that into the um, crease. <laughs> That's what it's called, yeah, the crease and kind of just keep blending that in and keep applying another layer until I get the pigment that I want, which is quite a dark pigment, but not too crazy. Then I'm using this beautiful, beautiful um, rose gold color called Petra and kind of packing that onto my lid. Then moving on to color Timai, which is the lighter shade. I'm using that in the inner corners of my eye just to brighten up my eye. I love using a paler color there. And then kind of just going over the crease with color Plateau, which is a darker color, um, just kind of making the look a little bit more darker. Then I'm using my Girls With Attitude lashes. I've been loving these lashes at the moment. They are amazing. They stay on for ages. And then I'm applying a brown MAC liner onto my waterline. And then the Spotlight Highlight, which is amazing from Contour Cosmetics. Using the center color there. Just using my fingers, putting it into the inner corners of my eye to brighten them up. Then I've used the Contour Cosmetics um, Color Rocks, which is the bronzer. And it is really, really pigmented. It comes out so strong. So I've needed to blend that in. And then finally moving on to my lips, I'm using a Charlotte Tilbury Nude Lipstick, which is really gorgeous, so creamy, I just love this colour. And topping it up with a Kylie Cosmetics Metal Lip in Air. Um, this colour is so gorgeous as well, I really, really love it. Moving on to look number two, again I'm using the Base Mattifying Primer and then I'm applying my trusty um, Iconic Foundation Stick which is in colour number three and I'm applying it with a Evo brush just to get a really great blend. Then I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer on my lids to set my lids before I do my shadow. Using again the Aphrodite palette, oh my god I just love this palette. And um, for the base here, I believe I used the Calon colour just to get a kind of light purplish base. 
Again, using the brush that came with the kit because it's really, really good. Setting into my crease now, I'm using the plateau color and I wanted quite a dark color. So I kind of just keep reapplying this, keep blending until I get the um, desired pigment. And then I'm using the flatter brush and I'm using actually the plateau and the Meraki color together. And I'm just using it in the corners. So not fully over the lid, not fully into the crease, just the outer corner. And I'm just taking a blending brush and kind of blending that all in together. Then I'm using the Spotlight Highlighter and I've taken a little brush. I will link all the brushes, everything that I use below. Um, and yeah, I've just kind of put that into the inner corners of my eyes. And then again, using some Girls With Attitude lashes. Honestly, guys, these lashes are amazing. Like, I just love them. I keep reapplying them. They're just amazing. Um, then I'm just using a L'Oreal Blue Eyeliner to set my lid. And then I'm actually going to use a MAC Brown Liner over the top of that. Um, just to kind of darken it up a bit. Then I have used the Kairos and the Plateau Colour um, blended together under my eye and kind of just blended that in again using again the Contour Cosmetics brush. I find it just blends really, really nicely. Then I'm using a Too Faced mascara for my lower lashes. I really love this mascara. It's been quite good, so I've been using it a lot recently. Um, again, using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer to um, contour with now because it's a really, really nice pale light colour. So I've kind of just used this as a base before I then go ahead and apply the um, actual cream contour kit. So those are the shades that I use, those two lighter shades and I use kind of like the middle tan colour for my darker areas. And yeah, just apply it in your kind of standard um, contour areas. I'm sure everyone has their different techniques and I, to be honest, change it every time that I do it. But um, I've kind of applied it to your basic areas like my laughter line below my eyes and like uh, just above my jawline. And then I'm using the darker colours also on your basic areas like your cheekbones, your forehead and then I would usually contour my nose as well. Once I've blended that, I will use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And what you don't want to do is drop it like I did here, all over the floor and everywhere else. <laughs> but yeah, I will set my face with that. And usually while I'm letting that kind of bake, as you do, I will do my eyebrows. Here I'm using the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Promenade or whatever it's called. Um, I think that's in medium brown. And then I'm using the Contour Cosmetics Rocks, um, which is super pigmented as you can see. So yeah, I needed to blend that in. And then I'm using their Spotlight Highlighter on your basic areas like your cheekbones. I'll use it um, on my nose and like maybe kind of just above my eyebrows and my brow bone. And then I'm currently obsessed with this NYX um, metallic lip. I think it's the Colour Galaxy, but as I said, I'll link everything below. But yes, that is my second more gothic look done. Okay guys, so that is my two completely different looks using Contour Cosmetics. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or any ideas for any other videos, then just pop it in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video. And I shall see you guys very soon.